welcome back to Bitfumes and I'm your host Sarthak and this is the channel where I talk about Laravel and the cool thing about Laravel so if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So in this episode we are going to create the view routing system for our app, phone book app. So firstly I will start the server so to take a look what we have created till now. So server is started, let's go to Chrome and here I will say localhost 8000 and we have created this but we need to create these thing first that means the component for home and about for that let's go to Burma so Burma documentations components and let's go to panel then panels copy this go to sublime go to resources assets JS components Create a new file called home.view, then create a template, paste these things. And we don't have to give any kind of this text outside this nav because inside template or inside component, we only have to give one element. So nav element and other things are inside that. So that's good. So home is created. Let's create a view of about dot view. Then again, a template. That's good. Go to Burma and let's go to layouts and sections. I'm using this. You can use anything you want. So go here, paste it. That's good. And we don't need this body part from here. Okay. That's very nice, but obviously we have to tell our app that we are having these kind of components. So why not copy all these two and change the names. So this is firstly home, then this is about. That's okay, but we are not going to tell this app that we have these two components because we want to have the switching between these two components via view router. So firstly we need to get the view router so go to chrome search for view router and go to this website installation we have covered the installation via npm but we need to get these things also so copy this go here and paste it here so i will firstly do this thing so that there will be a space Okay, that's nice. So view router is here. That's good. And then what we need? We need to go to getting started. Then we need to give these links router links. And obviously we want these links instead of this home and about. So that's why we have to go to my header. And instead of these two, I'm going to paste this. That's good. And instead of this, that should be home. Instead of this, that should be about. Similarly here, home and here, about. That's good. We have done quite a few things. But let's just go to start a new terminal so that we can run our npm run watch so that it can compile everything for us. So it will just take a little bit time for that. And now what we are going to do, let's go to Chrome once more, getting started and view router and it says successfully mixed, that means compiled, that's good. And wherever we want to view the components, that means whenever I click on the view router, that means on the home. So where I want the component of home to be shown on the page, so for that, I will go to my views and phonebook.blade.php and I want to have these things in between home, header and footer. So I will paste it here, router view, that's okay. And now if I go to Chrome, open dev tool so that I can empty cache and reload, hard reload. And it's have nothing because there is some kind of problem because of the view router, but we will fix this later. So next what we need, 
we need these javascript system so we need the components obviously we have the components here these two components we are going to switch that's okay then we have to create routes so let's go and create routes so i will create routes and call it home like this so capital h like this and about with the small a here that's good what next next we need router so copy this and paste it here then we have to give the router keyword in our app so we have to tell our app that we are going to use the router that's okay so this good and everything is compiled successfully let's go to chrome and reload this page and you can see everything is working absolutely fine that there is no error except this csrf token we don't have to care about this and this is okay but styling is not so good for the stylings we have to give the class so let's go to sublime open this my header component and give the classes so i will select router link with this sign and then control d then navigate here class so that should be nav bar hyphen item okay so let's go and reload and yes it's working absolutely fine so if i click about here is the about if i click home here is the home so these two are working absolutely fine so if i just close this you can see the full view and without any refresh it's working absolutely fine but the problem is just this hash in the url let's get rid of this hash also so for that i will go to sublime open our app.js navigate to this routers where we have created here give a new element called mode and its value is history then comma save this file and go reload the page and i think we have to hard reload okay that's fine remove it about and you can see there is no hash and home and about home and about everything is working absolutely fine so this is great but let's just give some styling for this and then we have to go to home and firstly let's go to phonebook.blade and here i will give dot container and i will move these things uh, not everything just view router so let's check this let's go again and reload go to home Yes, we have the margin. That's great. Let's do one thing more. I will open my home dot view. Then I will say column. Then is offset of uh, let's say two. Then is eight. It's just like we are giving the columns. So let's go reload. Go to home yeah we have this centered panel that's good and let's change this repositories so that should be view.js phone book and and here is some problem whenever i go from my base url it's working but when i refresh the page or if i directly go to the slash home it's not working because actually our Laravel app doesn't know about this route. This route is created by the view. So what we have to do? We have to go to web.php file and we have to say one thing which is like route colon colon get and whenever I go to slash any name then I want to have a function which is going to return redirect to home 
but we have to say here where uh, this name is going to match capital A to capital Z, small a to small z, and here comes plus. Close this, go to Chrome, go to Home, reload the page. It's giving error. Okay, here is the problem. We have to give semicolon here. Okay, so you can see whenever I refresh, I will fall back to the base URL and user doesn't know anything about this. So this is good. And let's come to this thing. We don't need all these things and this button also. So let's just close this. So let's go here, open my home.view and now I don't need even these tabs. So I will close, delete that. Then I'm, I don't need this one. I, won't, I only need one. So delete each and everything from here. Okay, so let's see how it's look like. Um, home. Yeah, only one. Okay, that's good. So we need this button to be here. So let's do that. So cut this from here. Don't need any block. So after this, this one, and I will simply say add new. Okay, so home, and it's blocked because it is full width. So delete that, reload the page, go to home, and yes, add new is here. That's very nice. And what next we need? We need a uh, buttons or simply the far icons here. So let's go to far icon. Okay, and firstly we need an icon for trash. Okay, so we have this trash here. So let's get that trash icon from here. This one, copy this, go here. And for this one, I will just give icon inside a span which is just like this and paste it here so let's go and reload this fall back so you can see it's not working because we have to now get the font awesome in our app so I will break this npm watch and then I will say npm install font hyphen awesome then yeah it's very awesome so that's why it is font awesome so font awesome is installed let's include this in our project so i will go now not inside js now inside resources asset and sas folder inside app.scss we have to import the font awesome so i will say font awesome and obviously we have to get the npm module of the font awesome so font awesome f o font awesome is here font awesome then f c s s and then font awesome so it will be like this then font hyphen awesome then slash then f c s s again slash and font hyphen awesome that's good Let's run npm watch. Okay, there is no error. This means font awesome is included successfully. Let's close this module folder. Go to Chrome, reload the page, go to home. And yes, our icons are now visible. But I don't need any icon here. I need this icon to be on the right. Okay, that's good. So firstly, I will delete this book icon from here. And now what I will give, I will say here, let's give this inside dot is, let's say eight or maybe nine. Why nine? Because I want three icons. So nine for the name and three other for the icons so that all total will become 12. So this is good. And this icon will has to be is one then that's good so let's see 
home and it's not doing that thing why we have to include the column it has to be column here and column here also that's great reload go to home and yes it's here so likewise we need a edit then a view so one for edit so that should be edit and then trash or instead of trash simply i okay reload and go to home yeah we have this but i want these to be colored so for delete i want red color so for delete i have to give a new class called has text danger similarly for edit i want to say has text let's say info and for this has text of primary so great reload go to home yes these are colored very nice everything is working absolutely fine till now so we have done many things in this episode in the next episode we are actually going to create the models for add new then edit and then view and then after we will start getting these things with laravel and also on the database so if you have any doubt feel free to message me and you can also subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed then you just have to follow me on facebook twitter and instagram so that you will get the latest news about the channels and we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye